Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. If you're looking to give yourself a fright, or like to see just how much of that creepy, uneasy feeling you can handle, you may not have to look much further than your smartphone. Scroll through the app or Google Play stores, and you may find some truly eerie and chilling apps and games, like these 10 which you should only download if you're looking for a real scare. Before you get lost in these apps, take a moment to subscribe and click the bell for updates on future archives. Have any experience with any of the apps and games we cover, hmm? Let us know in the comments and at the end if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let's get started. Number 10. Ouija board. Whether Android or iOS owner, you too can bring with you the mystique of a digital Ouija board. Does it hold the same alleged power to speak with the dead? Will using one engage a portal to the other side, allowing a damned soul to cross over and haunt you to your very core? There's only one way to find out. But is your soul strong enough to resist the demons that may try to cross over? Though there isn't a universal version, Net Unlimited and Yuchiro Indo created different digital Ouija's for iPhone and Android devices, respectively. Number 9. I Scare If it's a fright you love to give friends and family, then I Scare is the app for you. Developed by Amelia Fist for Android, with a similar, less popular version developed by Tap Games for the App Store, iScare lets you set unsuspecting targets up for the scare of their life. The app starts off as a simple animation, an optical illusion that you can trick others into viewing. Once they're fully engrossed by the moving image, the trap springs, giving their heart quite the jump. Number 8. Her Story It sounds innocent enough, but Her Story lets users immerse themselves into a murder mystery, rather than experience it from the outside like one would a TV special. The app, available in ISO, Android, and Steam, gives players access to archived video footage of interviews with the suspect who's being questioned about her husband's murder. The app is a clever game, but the live-action footage and impressive acting by Viva Seifert makes it eerily real, as if you have a front-row seat to the crime of the year. Number 7. R.I.P. V.I.P. Are you the type that likes to be the first to spread news of someone's death? It doesn't take long for the news of a celebrity death to filter across social media. But with RIP VIP app, you can receive an alert with the passing of a well-known figure. RIP VIP pushes the boundaries of a death-obsessed culture and for many of us, we're sure. It's a little too creepy to have on our phones, but for our curious viewers, it's available solely on the App Store. Number 6. Security Cam Stepping away from literal scares, we landed on this voyeur's dream on the App Store. What is branded as a simple application that turns your iPhone into a security camera can be turned into something far creepier. <laughs> yes, it can be a suitable security camera alternative, but the app enables the camera to turn on through motion and audio triggers and comes equipped with a stealth mode that turns off the display when the camera is active. Put the pieces together yet, hmm? Let's just say you should never trust an iPhone that looks to have been accidentally left behind. Number 5. Camster Another app that's fairly harmless on its own, the creep factor for Camster comes in when you think about the people that may be using it. 
the iPhone app allows users to connect to a network of cameras, including security, traffic and weather, public, surveillance, nanny and baby cameras. It may be interesting to kick back and watch the world in motion, but for someone with a need or desire to watch others, it's a window that maybe they shouldn't have access to. Do you know who's watching you? Number four, Five Nights at Freddy's. A sensation on PC, Android, and iOS, Five Nights at Freddy's is the ultimate haunted house simulator. Players fill the shoes of a new night guard in a Chuck E. Cheese's style restaurant. Surviving the night is hindered by killer animatronics that stalk the halls. And while it's these life-sized characters that provide the real scares, developer Scott Cawthon didn't shy from building an eerie atmosphere. The entire Five Nights at Freddy's experience is built on tension, an impressive sound design, and effective visuals that mingle together for a frightening experience. Number three, Watching Cute Girl. This app is a scopophobic nightmare. Just as the name suggests, this iOS program fills your phone screen with a young girl that, well, just watches you. If being stared at by a pre-recorded person is your thing, then by all means, keep an eye out for Ninja Inc.'s Watching Cute Girl. Otherwise, you'll probably start to feel shivers course down your spine as her eyes focus on you, unblinking. Or when she randomly pipes up with, Good evening, have you already eaten? Or even worse, Good morning, I came to watch you. Number two, Night Terrors, The Beginning. Think you can survive the night in a haunted house, hmm? What if ghouls and ghosts were lurking in the darkest corners of your own home? Night terrors test your resolve against the paranormal in one of the freakiest augmented reality experiences ever to hit the App Store. To get the full experience, users are suggested to turn off all lights and use headphones as ghastly haunts spring up to turn walking through familiar territory into a horrific experience. The team at Novum Analytics continues to update night terrors with new scares, but what's there already is enough to leave one trembling. Number one, Death Clock. Android and iOS users both get to face their mortality with two different versions of Death Clock. Regardless of which device you own, a simple download and a quick questionnaire is all you have to go through to find out your projected date of death. Both even amp up the creepy factor by including a live countdown timer, further driving home the point that your time is coming, regardless of whether the date provided is correct. Glad you watched, hmm? Time's running out. Hit subscribe now before it's too late. Have any experience with any of the apps and games we cover? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up.